Hey guys, it's me again. Um, wanted to uh, give you a couple of tips today, and um, I uh, I'm gonna talk today. I'm gonna talk about ascots, and uh, a lot of people have been asking me for a while on how to tie how to tie your ascot. So we're gonna go through that in a second. So. First, I have an ascot. This ascot is a super thin, this is a spring uh, spring and summer ascot. As you can see, it's super thin. It's, uh, it's perfect for spring and summer and it's made out of 50% cotton and 50% linen. So it's super light, almost kind of sheery. Uh, silk is another good material for spring and summer. As long as the material is nice and thin, um, you'll find it very useful. So um, this particular ascot is about 40 inches long by about nine to 10 inches wide. Um, perfect size to uh, not have a lot of fabric um, there by your neck. So this is a great size for an ascot. Sometimes you can find something that's a little shorter. But typically they're about 50. This is about 40 inches, so a little shorter and not so bulky inside your shirt because as you can see, we are going to be uh, tucking this in. So you'll see, you'll see how it goes. Um, benefits of uh, wearing your ascot and uh, your benefits are very simple. When you wear your ascot, I know that the ascot is mostly a statement, a fashion statement piece. You don't see a lot of people wearing an ascot out there, but it does have some benefits besides the, um, the, uh, the fashion statement. Um, it is, a, it is a, a, a lighter fabric that goes around your neck that uh, during hot weather, summer, uh, it, it is actually gonna stop your sweat from touching your garments or from dripping down your neck. So that's, uh, that's most of the benefits. Also, another benefit of the, uh, of the ascot is that, and this is one of the reasons why it was introduced, is because it actually stops your shirt from rubbing against your neck, therefore getting uh, dirty and worn. So um, with, the, with your hair and your skin and the rubbing of it, it'll, um, it'll um, sooner or later is gonna start wearing off your, uh, your collar of your shirt. So having an ascot, it actually extends the life of your shirts by a long time. And uh, I usually wear one once in a while, I don't wear them very often, but I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how to tie this ascot. Uh, where it is more wearable and is more inconspicuous so you don't have to be wearing one. So here you go, here's your ascot. So I'm gonna do it really quick and then we'll go through it again in a very slow way. So basically what I do is I take the two and I just kind of pinch it with my fingers right there like this and then put one over here then I go around, then I make a little hole right there, and then I connect it, then I just pull, tighten it up, make it as tight as you want, and I just tuck it in. So this is the way I wear the ascot. So it's not very uh, visible. It is not, it is not protruding. So you can't really see it and uh, and that's the way it's going to look so it's just to protect your shirt and to keep your sweat from uh, from uh, running down your neck more than anything so i'll put it a little closer so you can see how it's going to look so that's one way to tie your uh, your ascot i'm going to go and do it a little slower so you can see Let's do it again. Again, you pinch here, and then you put your left side over your fingers, run it around like this, right? So once it's there, it makes a little hole right here. So you're just gonna tuck it in the hole, and just pull. And then that way it makes a running 
uh, not so this run this nut can run so you can tighten it up there you go so you can take it off like that now if you don't want to do it that way the simple way the shortcut of doing this take your ascot make a regular knot there you go now you have a knot right there don't make it too tight just kind of soft then you just put your ascot like that and then you just tuck in the other end into the knot and it's the same thing this is just a shortcut that way you don't feel frustrated trying to get it right little by little you you you'll be getting it you'll be tightening it the way it should be so that's uh, that's kind of like the the um, the secret of the ascot of course that's the informal the everyday the everyday way of uh, of tying your ascot there's other ways to do it especially if the ascot is a little more fine or it's a little more uh, the fabric is a little uh, more um, nicer fabric the other way to do it if you're wearing a uh, silk ascot which is gonna be more of the formal way to do it you uh, you basically just put it in the front and then you just bring it again to the front like this and you don't even tie it you just kind of let it relax in there just expand it a little bit and tuck it in and that's another way to do it so now you have another way and here you can just expand it as much as you want that way you can have it like that um, this is more of a um, this is more of a fall winter knot and it's also a more formal knot and it's not even a knot but it's a way to wear your your ascot and this is not even a knot it's just a super simple the other one the casual the casual one it's uh, it's very easy it looks really really cool especially in this super thin sheery fabric and uh, it protects your shirts that's the reason why I wear it sometimes it's just because it protects the shirts my shirts when I when I wear this um, ascot my shirts can I can wear my shirts once twice maybe even three times because it's not getting all sweaty of course not in the summer because in the summer you know you, you're gonna be sweating but in the spring uh, it definitely uh, extends the life of your shirt definitely recommend and it's a cool look uh, it's just very uh, very casual um, and uh, it looks great so if you have any questions just let me know write it down you can subscribe I'm gonna be doing a lot of tips on how to do things uh, all geared towards uh, men's uh, men's style and fashion so if you subscribe you'll get my notifications on how to do all this kind of stuff uh, from sewing a hole in your jeans to uh, repairing a hole in your jeans to uh, tying an ascot tying a tie next time we'll do a, a regular tie and then we'll do different different knots we'll do a double knot we'll windsor knot we'll half windsor knot and things like that so thank you so much i hope you enjoy it and uh, you can get this uh, this ascot super thin ascots here at the store so hit me up see you later